So if you've been paying attention to the news from WWDC or watching any tech YouTuber or, you know, tech Twitter, any of that stuff, you've probably noticed that Apple just killed the M1 iPad Pro with iPad OS 15, right? There's no Pro apps. Some people were really expecting that they were gonna put Mac OS on the iPad Pro and that didn't happen either. And now as a result, everybody has rushed to the stores to return their iPad Pros, right? So why did I just buy one? So before we jump into the iPad Pro conundrum, if you have not already, hit subscribe and hit that bell icon if you like these types of videos. Also, drop me a note in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are on the iPad Pro M1 series and what Apple did with iOS 15. So as I stated, iPad OS 15 is pretty disappointing across the board. A lot of people, myself included, were really expecting Apple to push the envelope and really take the iPad Pro to the Pro level. I mean, if you look at the spec sheets, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro has Thunderbolt ports, it's got the M1 processor, it's got mini LED, like it's got everything that you could ever want in a hardware iPad Pro to really be able to take it up a notch and run Pro apps. Like if there was ever a time that Apple was going to break the shackles of iPad OS, this was gonna be the year. Well, unfortunately, Apple didn't think so. And I know that this has been said a few times already on other channels and other places, but we've got to remember that Apple made the M1 processor as an iPad processor variant. They made the A14, the M1 was basically the A14X, and instead of putting it directly into the iPads, they put it into the Mac. So Apple didn't take a Mac processor and just put it into an iPad. A while ago, they took an iPad processor and put it into a Mac, which I know was really confusing when Tim jumped in and did the Mission Impossible thing, literally plucking the processor out of a Mac and putting it into an iPad. And that was a really cool marketing video, but that's just what it was, it was marketing. So just remember that, that the M1 is actually an iPad chip. And if there's one thing that we know about Apple, especially under Tim Cook, remember Tim Cook is the operations guy that keeps the trains moving. They love to streamline their production. And what I mean by streamlining their production is that right now you've got the iMac, the Mac Mini, the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and the iPad Pro, five different devices all have one chip in them. So as far as efficiency and being streamlined and profitable, this is about as good as it gets for Apple. Now that's not to say that I'm personally not disappointed. I know that I sound like I'm being an Apple fanboy here. I am bummed out over iPad OS 15. I made a whole video WWDC wishlist asking them to put Pro apps on the iPad and I didn't get it. I didn't personally think that we would see Mac OS S on an iPad, but I was really hoping for Final Cut Pro or some other Pro apps, or at the very least, I thought we would see Xcode on the iPad, and we didn't get it. So if I'm super disappointed in iPad OS 15, why would I buy another iPad Pro? Why not just buy an Air or not buy an iPad at all? Earlier this year, right before the M1 powered iPad Pros came out, I had a feeling we were gonna see a pretty powerful update, so I sold my 2018 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And when I sold that, it was a really hard decision for me to make. I love the iPad. I've been an iPad user ever since it first came out. In fact, for almost two years, I used nothing but an iPad as my main computer. Every time I would pull my iPad out and set it up in the keyboard case, I almost felt genuine joy using it. It was such an awesome, cool device. And when it comes to iPad OS, I actually kind of like iPad OS. Like I don't hate it. I wish it could do more, but I think I'm in the same group as a lot of users out there where I just want iPad OS to be able to do a little bit more than it does already. But in general, I really don't have any complaints about iPad OS other than the fact that it lacks certain pro apps that I wish that it had for my workflow. So understanding all the limitations that iPad OS puts on these devices that are clearly way overpowered for the software, why would I choose to buy another iPad Pro versus an Air? So the first reason is that the iPad Pro is just a little bit more future-proof than the iPad Air. As you're starting to see from WWDC, there are certain features that are only supported by the M1 Max. I don't know if that future is coming for the iPad, but I wanna make sure that my processor is able to do whatever Apple decides to throw at it next year in iPad OS 16 or beyond. Not only does it have the M1, but it also has a Thunderbolt port. So again, expandability, future-proof, this iPad is just a little bit better than the Air. But as today, the 11-inch iPad Pro compared to the 11-inch iPad Air, they look almost identical, and features-wise, they're super duper close. So why pay more for an iPad Pro? Well, do you remember when I said that everybody was rage returning their iPad Pros because of WWDC and the limitations that iPad OS 15 put on these new iPad Pros? That means that there's some killer open box deals. 
So as of right now, if you wanted to get a 256 gigabyte 11 inch iPad Air, that's gonna cost you $750. If you wanted to go a little bit smaller, the next size down is a 64 gigabyte, that's still gonna cost you $599. So I just split the difference and got the 128 gigabyte 11 inch iPad Pro right in the middle of the two storage sections, right? I get the M1, I get Thunderbolt, and I only paid $679 for that thing. So it's right in the middle of the two iPad Airs as far as storage options goes, and it's right in the middle as far as price. So if you're put off with iPad OS 15 and you were thinking about getting a Pro and now you're looking at the Air, I would tell you to consider looking for some open box deals because you're gonna find a really nice product for an outstanding price. All right guys, so what do you think? Are you just super burned on iPad now with iPad OS 15 or would you consider an open box iPad Pro? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.